This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is February 15th, 2019. What is the state of the SVOD business today? Well, this week we heard from John Hendricks, who is founder and chairman of Curiosity Stream, the factual streaming service on this subject. And he has a very interesting viewpoint because Mr. Hendricks is founder of Discovery Channel. He founded Discovery Channel in 1985 and had a front row seat to the transition from broadcast to cable viewing. And he likened our situation very much to that transition. He said that back in 1985, when Discovery was launched, 92% of the audience was watching the top three broadcasters during prime time. But by 1987, he says, the writing was on the wall that the audience was going to migrate to cable. And that's what he sees happening with SVOD. Now, what does he see the market breaking out into? He, he thinks that there are four main categories. Category one is movies and scripted. Category two is sports content. Category three, factual. And finally, the fourth category is general entertainment. And he sees six companies or six services really dominating in this area. Of course, Netflix is one. Uh, he also thinks that Disney Plus, when it launches, is going to be one of those. And also that at and Warner Media service will be one. And NBC News, when it launches in 2020, will be one too. But oddly, he thinks Comcast is going to be really important, although they, uh, outside of NBCU, they've not really announced anything. And Apple is his sixth choice, which again is very surprising. Apple really doesn't have a big footprint in video streaming today. Uh, of course, that may change next month when they announce what their video strategy is going to be. Uh, but right now, they're really not a big player. Now, of course, Curiosity Stream wants to dominate factual. And the way they're going to go about it, well, that became clearer this week as well. Uh, the company announced that they had got $140 million in fresh financing from Bloom Capital and from Times Square Capital Management. And that they're going to be using that money for three primary things. One is to expand the content catalog. Currently sits at about 2,000 titles. And they want to increase that a lot. The second thing they want to do is they want to improve discovery on their application on their, on their um, exp in their video experience and improving discovery is important because making it easier for people to find things will keep them happier and engaged and happy engaged customers stay subscribed so that's very critical and the third thing they're doing is they're expanding internationally a common theme with many 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 services doing that in the coming year I think but there's one thing he didn't mention which I think is important that that 140 million will help with. And that's his pricing for the planet strategy. Uh, last, late last year, they cut the price of this, of Curiosity Stream from 5.99 a month to 2.99 a month. Uh, and that gets you HD and two streams. Uh, and that is obviously very, very low price. And the reason he did that, well, he wanted to make it a no brainer to subscribe. If you were at all interested in factual stuff, that $2.99 was not going to be a barrier to you taking that service. The other thing that Curiosity Stream did is that they are partnered with Toyota and Sprint to sponsor free content through the site. So now you can download the Curiosity Stream app and watch videos without providing a credit card or signing in or anything. You can get, get an experience for free um, with only um, f f sponsored by Sprint and Toyota. So uh, I think that's a, a very strong strategy as well. Now, um, Mr. Hendricks also believes that there's going to be some rebundling and that uh, that is where pricing for the planet pricing helps as well, uh, because at two ninety nine that gives him plenty of flexibility to slide in by um, another provider who's charging much more and not be a problem in partnering. And that very is is definitely is one of the strategies that he's thinking about. He says, I think in our future will be some kind of alignment with one of those big sixes, one of those big six providers. Uh, so that's how Curiosity Stream plans to dominate the factual ca category. Uh, low price, lots of content, 
big distribution partnerships uh, and international expansion uh, that should really help and you know uh, you can't really count Curios uh, curiosity stream out from doing it with mr hendrix at the helm with his experience you've got to believe it gives them a great shot at becoming as popular as the discovery channel is and the discovery channel well that's in most people's top five channels today uh, and we'll be tracking what curiosity stream does here on end screen noise we'll see you again next time